So this is part two to exposing Naomi rain or hellfire rains on Naomi. So y'all, if you haven't watched part one, stop watching this video and go watch that video, then come back so everything will make sense. But y'all, what I was hearing in the spirit is that people are peeping it right so the people of god are seeing it and i actually heard somebody say in the spirit she's right they don't pray y'all i would never lie to y'all like everything that i say comes from the father it comes from the throne he sees everything there's not nothing that he does not see he sees everything i had to make this a part two because this is really separate because if you know scripture you would know that nothing that is being said in this video in this entire video makes sense but i had to put this one separate because these witches know what they're doing they're getting her to come into agreement with them so they're making her look crazy they're making her look foolish they're making her look like a fake christian they know what they're doing first of all you know what, I'm gonna play the clip, then come back. I was in the shower, I had that epiphany, I came out the shower and was yeah. like, oh my gosh. Okay, this is my, what is that called, babe, my analogy? Yeah. Okay, it was like this. I think it's really crazy that there could be someone in the church, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is doing kingdom work, right? Let's just say, I, I hate that term, but whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course she hates the term, she's a witch. Then you hear, Naomi laughing at her how do you hate kingdom work or the words why do you hate it because you hate the kingdom somebody who's really standing for the Lord somebody who's really about the kingdom would say something and not just let that slide this is what I mean by people say certain things or they're afraid to say certain things that expose their character, exposes who they are. I would have, what? I would have had some words, but I don't care who you are, what platform you are, what show you was on, okay? What awards you won. I mean, I could go on and on. Um, right? <laughs> Who's part of the, like Israel says, part of the one. already reached yeah. okay yes okay. they already on the team mm -hmm. okay let's say this person is already on the team right no 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 let me correct that okay let's say that the right way they pretended like they were on the team they never really were on the team they just had the appearance as if they were on the team but really they were playing for both teams matter of fact they were more so on the other team but they made it seem like they were on the other team more all right, so they rocking the wrong jersey. Okay, catch that word. And let's say they dedicate their whole entire lives to seeing to singing Hallelujah in the highest. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's a song, but that's the song we're saying. Mm -hmm. And they spend their whole life singing Hallelujah in the highest. Then there is someone else who spend their whole life singing. Sorry, T Pain, but I'm in love with a stripper, right? Uh huh. I'm in love with a stripper, right? Mm -hmm. And let's I've... say he dedicates his. Then y'all peep how she just casually singing and dancing to a song about a stripper being in love with one. Like it's her jam. And the Lord revealed, y'all, they're not doing this for no reason. She's not singing that for no reason. In agreement for no reason. She's still listening to worldly music. They all are. Okay, these people that are on these platforms. Y'all... Stop believing with your eyes. Discern with the spirit. Whole life to singing that song, mm -hmm. right? And that's his life story. Mm -hmm. The man that has sang Hallelujah in the Highest, if he ever gets caught singing I'm in love with a stripper, he's canceled, would be canceled forever. forever. You know what? What does it say in the word about Satan? Does it say he comes with horns and a pitchfork yelling out evil stuff? okay disrespectful yes he can be disrespectful but no it says he comes as an angel of light meaning it looks like it's good it looks pleasant all right sometimes it may even look beautiful but let me tell you something 
they're wrong and they're getting her to come into agreement because let me tell you something it sounds good right it sounds like it makes sense especially to someone that is maybe a babe in christ that's why it's important to really just get to know the father and to discern i don't it's just like i i can think of nothing but the word discernment you need discernment you need discernment because it makes no sense um witches they know the word of god they know how powerful it is they know how every word is significant all right there's intentions behind everything that's written in the word of god and they know this and they know that just because you sing does not mean that you are godly because notice she's saying you could sing hallelujah in the highest but and that's your life no they know that that's not true they know that you could sing whatever song you want to sing singing a gospel song does not make you a christian does not make you holy it just makes you a good singer you may have an anointing when it comes to your voice but that doesn't mean that you know that's gonna get you into heaven and they think this they thought that because they were saying that it was gonna do something for them in the afterlife no but they know this they know this and they're using it to lead other people astray because it sounds like it makes sense right oh why would you cancel this person and not this person let me tell you something this is so many scriptures that i can pull up and maybe i'll do that one day but it's so many reasons why that's wrong because when someone's living of the world and they may be listening to worldly music and then they come to god and they realize how demonic it is they realize how it's full of witchcraft and they realize how it is very it's it's idolatry all right so they stop listening to it they cut it off forever they hate it they actually despise it all right they actually come against it in the spirit realm and in the natural because it'll take place in the natural which is why things are happening to the kingdom of darkness right now because you know that's another story but look he'll answer prayers that are really meaningful but y'all there is something wrong if you've been singing hallelujah in the highest whatever gospel song you're singing but you're still in agreement with demonic music you're still in agreement with witchcraft so yes you are canceled if you're listening to if you're singing it but you claim to be a christian because it is worldly and it's more than just words life and death is in the power of the tongue you're speaking death all right you're speaking against the word of god so while there's verses in the bible there's verses that are coming from the pit of hell that you are in agreement with so yeah you are going to be canceled Now it's one thing to come out and admit, you know what, I didn't understand how powerful witchcraft is. I didn't understand how real spiritual war was. I was just singing, you know, ignorantly. And then you stop. There has to be a stop at some point. So no, there is no, oh, well, I listened to it for a month. I listened to it for a day. Once you know the meaning behind music, once you know the meaning behind the word of God, once you know that this is all spiritual, there should be no reason for you to even like that's not a backsliding thing right like people backslide right people backslide they might slip up and curse all right they might slip up and drink they might slip up and smoke they might slip up whatever it may be but there's certain things that you're just not gonna backslide on like who says you know what i backslid and i listened to um lil wayne's album that makes no sense like once you know the truth you know the truth for one time, sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah yep. in the highest. We're like, thank you, Jesus. The anointing <laughs> on that man. The, bring him to my platform because he's famous and he's a celebrity. Mm -hmm. He can get on my platform anytime That's and sing right. hallelujah in the highest. But, but my the worship man leader, that saying I'm a lover to right. stripper once. once. Should we could have sang it a few times? Let's just say, <laughs> let's say he sang it like twenty. This is all like a month of yeah, you know a bad month. Maybe like a year okay. of singing it. Okay. How are you gonna decide that? The direction where his heart was this time, what he's dedicated to serving God is now null and void. Right. But this person came and sang this song one time, and we are just. I'm going to answer the question for you already. It's a business. I'm ready. Is, is bragging rights if I get a celebrity That's to sing it. a worship yeah. song? Yeah. It is bad for business if a worship leader I mean, makes me look bad. Correct. It's business. It's good for business if somebody who who was doing bad is now doing good on my platform or, or you know what I mean? Yes. It's just not a good look. It's business, guys. Follow the money. Listen. 
y'all heard what he said it's business guys follow the money and you know what she should have said as a christian quote unquote what you need to do is follow jesus but of course she ain't saying nothing she's smiling she's laughing she is in agreement she chose her side y'all she chose so it's this is crazy we're really living in the last days and it's going to be a lot more signs that's going to point to the end times. All right. We're in the last hour, not even days. But this is crazy. They're literally doing this on camera. They're mocking me. And you know what? It's it's sad, you know, that they think that what they think makes sense. They think what they say makes sense. And the women, of course, they're jealous. And the men, not all of them. Right. But a lot of men are jealous of Jesus literally because they're like they're lusting over me and then they're mad that I would never right but this is I don't know it's just crazy it blows my mind um don't think this is the last time do not think this is the last time you're going to see something like this because these demons are going crazy they're going crazy um, it's proving, though, it's proving that there is a separation happening. It's proving that people idolize their gifts and talents or their calling more than they look up to the Lord or submit to the Lord. Or It's just showing what really reigns, no pun intended, in their heart. Because Jesus isn't reigning. In Naomi Rain's heart, all right, her anointing on her voice was, your voice will not get you into heaven. People are finding that out. And another thing, people are jealous of people who have true power and their anointing is literally like shining through them. I literally feel the spirit as I say that, like people, they're... Like, let's say someone who has a gift or a talent, right? And they feel like it's not as valuable as the next person's gift or talent or anointing or their closeness to the Lord, which we all have access to. But some people just not willing to give up whatever they need for it. That's your own choice. But they, they covet people's gifts. And this is what's happening. This is what's happening in these last days. They're not cheering for the one that was lost they're not excited for the kingdom they're not excited for who's being you know who's awakening they're not excited for a, the move of god in general they looked for fame that's what they wanted and it's proof but y'all i just pray that y'all stay prayed up i pray that y'all literally get into the word like into the word don't just read it but get into it become one with it like I say, like, it's more than just knowing the word. It's becoming one with it. It's receiving the Holy Spirit and understanding that you're never done. You're never finished. It's always going to be a journey with the Lord. It's never going to stop until he returns. So have a blessed day, week, month, and a year in Jesus' mighty, holy, precious name.